Hi folks, welcome to the Believe It Show, where Believe It, if I can get through this day with a smile on my face and true personal independence in my sights, then believe it, so can you. Today is Friday, April 26, 2019. I am broadcasting from downtown Jacksonville at the Baptist Medical Center. It's a bit of a cloudy day today. There's some sun shining, but it looks like we may get some rain today. Hey, sometimes you got to have a little bit of rain with all the sunshine we have in this area, right? But let me tell you, I am looking at you laying in that hospital bed. Let me ask you, how are you? How are you feeling? Are you feeling hopeless? You feeling like packing it in? You turning the key and throwing it away? I understand. I've been there before. You just want to give up, right? You feeling a little sleepy right now? You want to go to sleep? You want me to put the blinds down and turn the television on, leave the room? Well, let me tell you what. That is completely out of the question. That is absolutely unacceptable. You have to grab the bull by the horns and pull yourself up by the bootstraps. This ain't no party. This ain't no disco. Let me tell you, this condition, it'll fool you. It'll trick you. It'll have you believing that being complacent is okay. There ain't no second place in this. You're either fully recovered or you're not recovered. This will fool you into a hole of complacency so deep you may never get out. So let me tell you, here's what we're going to do. We're going to smile. We're going to have a good attitude. We're going to put one foot in front of the other. And we're going to get up out of that bed and take care of all the needs that we have to do to make sure that you have full recovery. You are going to turn around and face this condition and square off like a sumo wrestler, you are going to scream at the top of your lungs, you got the tiger by the tail, and we're going to shake it loose. So let's go one step at a time here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do some stands. So I'm going to back this camera away. Well, I'm glad you came along, because I didn't want to do this by myself. Believe me, this is the best way to go about this. We're going to do some, what do we call, stands. This will strengthen your thighs up. It'll also give you good balance. You want to push off with your hands. Bend up so you, that you're at the edge of the seat. And then you're going to sit back down. And you're going to bend at the knees. You see my hands right out here. You want to bend at the knees and then reach back to grab the handles of the chair. And sit down nice and easy. The whole time you want to bend at the knees real slow. I'm going to control the weight. Okay. And sit back down. Relax a little bit. Stare out. Make a, think about your next move. When you do your stand, you want to be at the edge of the seat. So you want to be kind of out of the seat a little bit. So that when you push up, you're already in a standing motion. Okay, and when you stand up, you want to arch your back, stick your head up, squeeze your butt, 
and then you're going to sit back down again nice and easy. You just keep doing that several times until you can't do it anymore or you're sick of it. Now another exercise, uh, if you're taking showers, which by this time you should be requesting showers, they're going to put you in there and then when you turn the water off, you pull the cord to get the nurse, nurse's attention. Sometimes they don't come right in. So you're sitting there waiting. Instead of waiting, you could get up, and grab the railing that is on the sh in the shower, and do some squats where you're bending your knees. You're grabbing the railing. And you're doing squats, you're just bending at the knees. Get up. I'm sorry, I don't want to show my derriere. <laughs> you want to bend at the knees and get back up over and over again, okay? And, and understand that sometimes you're going to have spare time, like sitting in that shower waiting on a nurse. There's nothing worse. So, you can use that time to you do some exercises. Also, you can, you can do marches. Marches when you bend your foot up like, you bend your leg up one. You just like marching one, two, one, two, up, two, up, two, up, two, up, two. Up, two. And you can also, while you're sitting, you can stick your leg out. Stick your leg out. And stick it out. And bend it like that. Stick it out. Do that with both legs. Let's just give you an idea of some exercises that you can do while you're waiting to go for a walk. You should be walking every day and having visits from the physical therapist and the occupational therapy. And the occupational therapy will help you with brushing your teeth, making sure you shave, uh... They also work with your weak arm to get the strength back in it. Speech therapy is working with your eating and your speech. They give you tongue twisters like tip of the teeth, tip of the tongue. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Whether the weather be cold, whether the weather be hot. We'll be together, whatever the weather, whether you like it or not, and several others. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off right now. I've been on on the air for over almost nine minutes. That's a long time in this kind of show. But I want you to know, folks, that I care about each and every one of you. If I can reach just one person out there, make a difference in their life then I'm a success, and I hope I've done that today. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me at BillLevitt1962 at gmail.com. That's BillLevitt1962 at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.